In this video, we'll be going over a length of last word. So a given string S consists of some words separated by spaces. Return the length of the last word in the string. If the last word does not exist, we'll return zero. A word is a maximum substring consisting of non-spaced characters only. So in our first example, we're giving hello world. The last word inside the hello world is, is world, which consists of five characters. So return five. So let's first go do a dot process. We'll be checking the strings, checking the characters from right to left. We should note that there may be trailing spaces inside the input string. We will want to skip all of the trailing spaces before we start counting the characters inside the last word. Let's go do a pseudocode. So we're going to create two variables. I, our current location, inside s. Initially, s.length minus 1, which basically is the last index, we'll be iterating through from right to left. And length is the length of the last word. Now we're going to skip over the trailing spaces first. So while i is greater than or equal to 0, which basically means not out of bound yet, and the current character at i is equal to space. Then with decrement i, we're going to skip it. Now, now we want to count the number of characters in the last word. It's greater than or equal to 0, not out of bound yet, and the current character is not equal to space. Now we decrement i and then increment our length. Then we return the length of the last word. Let's go through the time and space complexity. So our time complexity is go to O of n, where n is the length of the input string. This is for the worst case scenario where the whole input string is only one word. Now our space complexity is going to be equal to O of 1. Now let's get into the code. So create our current i to keep track of our current index inside an input string, initially at the last index and the length of our last word. And we'll skip all the trailing spaces. If it's, empty, if it's empty space, we'll skip it. Now I want to count the length of our last word. The current character is not a space. Then we'll increment the length and then decrement i. And then return the length of the last word. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below.